Hi, after using our VMS client software, you probably noticed that our default password is not secure. And you are right. We highly recommend you to change the password and this video will guide you into this process. I will also cover how to create, delete and modify users and permissions. At the end, I will show you how to import all the settings and users to a different machine. Before we start, I invite you to check our new website at systemswithintelligence.com. Totally redesigned and mobile friendly, we will provide you with more information about our company, products and solutions. Let's log in using the username and password admin. Click on Setup and Edit User Accounts. Here, we can split the screen in three areas. The first one is for Create, Rename and Remove Users. The second area is related with passwords. And the third one is related with permissions. Note that for User Admin, most of the functions are grayed out. The user admin is the main user of the system, with all privileges, and we can only change the password. Let's explore a little bit and create a user name operator. Click on add user, type operator. Now I can set the password. It must be at least six characters and contain at least one number and one special character. For example, op at 123. Here, I can force the password change after 30 days to a year and set if the user will be banned after a login fail. For example, two login fails in one hour for five hours. Now, it's time to set the permissions. I can select any functions here to allow or deny user access. For example, this user can access historical, alarms and events, and control the PTZ. Since it's an operator, I don't want to allow any access to configuration and server menus. I can also rename or delete the user with those two buttons here. And save. Now, I also want to restrict which camera the operator can see. To do that, I will add three view pages and add user config. Click on add three view pages. First, I will create a tree view that will be associated with the user. For example, OP view. Choose the channel and the server for this tree view. For example, Demo DVS, and I will choose channel 1 and 6. Save. Next, let's edit user config. In the drop down menu, choose the user operator. Select the tree view for this user. You can add up to 99 tree views and archive servers. This allows a complete customization. Save. Now the operator can only see the cameras 1 and 6 in the demo DVS. It's important to remember that all settings here are only for this client. If you want to use the same settings for a different machine, you can save the profile and load in a different machine. It will bring all the tree view and user settings. I hope you liked this video and for any questions please contact us at Systems with Intelligence.